Well, certainly they're trying the best in Ireland to get people through the gates. I was talking to somebody recently, I can't remember which track it was, but selling sponsorship for races on eBay. So they're certainly thinking left of field over there, or you guys are. Um, but also, with regards to um, the Irish Derby meeting itself, which comes up on the 27th of June and uh, Sunday the 28th of June, we've got this uh, taste, um, it's... Sorry, called Derby Saturday at the Curra, a taste of Ireland food village. And this is something that you've got involved in. We've got a picture up if you can't see it, because I presume you're travelling at the moment, Johnny. But uh, you're here with a whole host of top, actually Michelin star award winning chefs, including Richard Corrigan, who's a name who's, who's the only one actually that's familiar with me, for, to me. But uh, there's various others there. I don't get to eat at all the salubrious restaurants like you do, I'm sure. But uh, anyway, I think for 10. 10 euros um, it gives people or race goers access to this uh, taste of Ireland food village. So, have you been sampling any of the delights? Well, listen, it's, it's not fair for jockeys to have that much food around, but listen, it's, it's a great idea. They have all the top, chef, top chefs around, uh, around Ireland, and they have, they're going to have their own little, little stalls in the restaurants there on that day. And it's, it's, you know, people come in, they can, they, you know, they're always complaining about the go race and don't get good food. Well, I can guarantee you on Saturday of the Derby, they're going to get very good food because you can see all the, the, the chefs going to be there preparing all the best food. And uh, I think it's a good idea. It's, it's, it's something new. And maybe if, 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 if they do well on the day, they might get one of those chefs to stay for the year. Now, we got, I'm sure I saw a picture of you tasting some of the delights. I think you're allowed a little stem of broccoli. Rather yeah, than a well, whole creme brulee. You know, we just don't eat much that's good food. You know, we try and just eat all that. Bless you. It's not very fair, yeah, is it? Asking... Cabbage and all that, you know. So, <laughs> no, that's not true. Is it? It, it, it's, a, it, it's something different and hope it works. And listen, the, in Ireland, they're doing a great job of trying to cover all different angles. And as I say, people go race and they like to be, you know, they like to go in and eat good food and, 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 and have a good day. And that's what we want to do. And, like, let's not forget like, all the ladies' days. There are 18 ladies' days this year in Ireland with 80,000 euros in prize funds. So, you know, the ladies like to get dressed up. They like to come to the races. And it, it, that's, that's all over Ireland. It's not just at the, at the one track. It's, it's all over Ireland. Different festivals all over the, all over the country. Like, um, so as, as I say, you know, we are trying. We are yeah. trying. And I think, you know, I think you've the more got... we can do to promote the sport, the better. Absolutely, you've got to at the moment, you've got to think of everything and provide a good all-round service so that punters do go racing and enjoy themselves. It's a long time to be at the track, but there's certainly plenty uh, to keep people engaged. It sounds like you've got loads to look forward to. Um, thanks very much for your time, because we've had you on the phone probably double the amount we were supposed to. It's very, very kind of you. Good luck with your role as HRA ambassador and with the classics this season and at Hamilton tonight. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Zoe.